These elementary students at Osan are making Rube Goldberg machines. You may not be familiar with the name, but you should be familiar with the concept. It's a complex machine doing a simple task. A famous children's Rube Goldberg machine is Mousetrap. And more than 75 years after Goldberg's cartoons hit the pages of newspapers, kids are still making these creative machines. It has to be made of simple parts and make two different kinds of sounds without electricity or any help from adults. I was really impressed because it was a long time getting there, as you heard, four to six weeks, which seems like a very long time, although I don't see them every single day. But by the end, the ideas that they came up with to make the sounds were the greatest ideas because they had to make the sounds, and I really enjoyed them figuring that out along the way. Cut this whole it's like thing. a domino effect, lots of dominoes. And as these kids work on their projects, sometimes it doesn't come out like they planned. If it works, what's going to happen? Uh, impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and the projects just aren't ad-libbed. They have to go to the drawing board to design their project. Some students are doing their project solo, and some have partners. Here's a car that's going down a hill, and it's going to hit the dominoes. This is a wheel and axle, but it's really a um, water balloon. Well, I have an inclined plane some dominoes, a discover for a movie. Bye. This is the second year the students at Osan have made Rube Goldberg machines. And the kids? Well, they have a blast. <laughs> Literally. I'm Air Force Sergeant Brent Skeen, Osan Air Base, Korea.